Hey guys, Super Tech Guides for another review and guide. So today we'll be looking at the Cool Max Seven uh, CU Seven Hundred B. So here is the power supply and a few other cables that come with it. Now let's look at a bit of the specs. So the 24 pin, there's one 24 pin like usual. Peripheral there is four. FDD there is one. SATA four. Four plus four uh, P. Well P4 pins. There is one of those of course. And PCI PCIe. Well PCI Express. There is two. So this. So this power supply is compatible with Sly and. Uh, crossfire which is pretty good for 50 bucks <laughs> and it is 700 watts it is the 700 watt version and we will be installing it into a half x well oh here half x computer that's the full tower here so let's look a bit at the power supply itself all right so you can switch the voltage 115 and 230 volt volts and we have a little pin button to turn on off and we have obviously the jack and then in the back Let's take a look. We have here all the wires, of course, and these, which are for this. So we have in the first one, we have one per uh, two peripherals, right? Two peripherals. Right here, and one FFD, and then this side, this one is the plug in to here. Come on, right there, just like that. So, so and then the other one we have is for two. SATA connectors, right? So which plugs into the next? This one right here. And then the, for the last one, we have the two PCI Express connectors. Okay. So actually, no, it's these two. These two. And then this one. You plug in t into the red one of course so now you've seen a lot of the power supply now let's do my guide on how to put it into a case all right so now we have turned the case onto its side so now we are going to open the case Here, let's take the side panel and put it there for now. All right. So now we have inside the case. So the power supply is gonna go right here. So let's take the power supply. And let's just put it, oops, there we go kind of hard to do this I only have two hands fortunately all right uh, it's gonna be kind of tough all right so this power supply also comes with screws yay so four screws four four holes so now just line up your power supply and screw the holes in 
so I'm gonna cut and we're gonna come back in five minutes all right guys we're back so now I have it all screwed in it's not going anywhere so now little guide I'm just gonna show you how to quickly connect your power supply onto the motherboard just to turn it on really quickly okay so this is the 24 pin don't need to count it it's the long one and we have the 24 pin slot right here obviously this goes onto here and you see this little clip thing here it goes on to the side on the side with like where it's like clipple clickable clip up geez clickable <laughs> clippable <laughs> can't say that where it has like this little thing there that it could connect right so you just that's one thing I don't like about it this the 24 pin this thing is like I don't know, it doesn't stay. It doesn't stay. So it's like really hard to put it in. Here. You just. It's really hard to put it in with one hand. Here, let me just put this down for five seconds here. Alright, it in it and it is in. So now the last connector we have is 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 where is it where is it ah, it's right down here so it's just mess with all the units okay so it's the four pin so this motherboard is only four pin which is right there some are eight pin which is why they have an optional four pin so we will be only using this one here right so just here just take it and just put it in there we go okay, it's in now that it's in it will work well obviously like it'll turn on but it won't you know you need to connect your SATA into your hard drives and you know if you have a video card you need to take your PCI ones and plug them in plug it all in you know and all that but besides that it, now it'll work so there you go guys thanks for watching Please subscribe, like, it really helps us out. And if you have any questions, comment below and I will answer all your questions. Thanks.